This is drum brake measurement. And the first component that we'll measure is the brake drum itself. So you want to pull that off. And you're going to put a face down on the bench. And you need to look at the drum brake itself. And you'll be able to see along the outer edge on most drums, it has a reading there, and that is the maximum diameter. And so you're going to take your drum brake digital caliper. And you can see that as you open it up, there are two points right there, and you're going to find the deepest groove on the drum to measure because that's what you'll need to know in order to decide if you need to toss it or machine it. So you're going to push it all the way against, and then you, you push it down so the flat sides of those calipers sit against the drum, and you pull on the caliper, sliding it back and forth till you get your maximum measurement. And then you give the drum a turn and you're going to do that again. The more times you measure the more accurate you're going to be. Once you have a consistent reading that you're happy with you're going to write that down and it's going to help you make a decision. Looks good. Next thing we'll look at is um, the lining thickness. So you're going to use a digital caliper here with the depth gauge sticking out the bottom there. So you want to z close the digital caliper and you want to zero it. Make sure it's zeroed every time. And in this case you're going to take it right inside where the friction material is riveted right to the backing plate of the shoe. And you can see that we have a measurement there. You're going to go on both rivets just in case uh, one side is wearing a little bit thinner than the other, which it is, you can see. You're going to take your lowest measurement, obviously, as the most important there. If you were, um, measure, if there was no rivets, then you would measure down to the backing plate on the outside. So you're going to measure the top and the bottom of each shoe, just in case there is some variation there. 